All right, hello, hello, hello. I am back. Uh, so I just want to show you guys something. I started working on this about an hour ago, and this is the progress I've made, and I think it's it's pretty much ready for uh, implementation into Warbox. But um, so it's a uh, ragdoll impact damage. Uh, so here I'll show you an example. I'm ragdoll. I fall. Boom. Fall damage. Dead. You see health in the bottom left corner. He died from that. So uh, let me just fall. I'm not gonna ragdoll. So I set it up so that he takes impact damage from uh, from ragdoll impacts. So like here, I'll jump. You can see his health lower, just a tiny bit. No, it wasn't really a hard hit. You know, he just fell over you know, and uh, scraped his knee up, maybe like right here. Not very much. You can see that. And then uh, here we have this fast moving object. We could, it's like a car. Maybe you could imagine this as a car, this box over here. So we can just walk up to it. Ouch. It's a very fast car, as you can see. Uh, yeah, I set it up so that he can't get up if his health is zero. So I'm pressing the X button. I'm pressing space bar. He's not getting up after that. But um, so this. Uh, I only started working on this today and it's actually been pretty well. What I've noticed though is it's really hit or miss uh, depending on the high speed impacts. Basically it like the damage doesn't spread through the body. It doesn't work like that. What the damage does is it detects a body part that hits. So let's say the his right foot hits something really hard, then it's going to take that the damage value set for the impact and it's going to deal that damage. But if, you're, if you're, your character's body is flying really fast, and let's say his right foot hits something, his calf hits something, his thigh hits something, then it's going to take that same damage and apply it to his overall health. So really, if multiple body parts hit something, like you can see only like two of his body parts hit there. He barely took any damage. But if I run over here and I fall, you see it do a lot more damage because more of his body parts are taking the damage. So it's kind of weird. You know, it spreads out the impact force, but doesn't help you in damage at all but uh, the further you get into really detailed stuff like that the more complicated this system gets right now it's not complicated at all it's just some math and uh, you know I wasn't very good at math in high school but uh, I mean Google's your best friend and Google is my best friend today because I figured this out um, anyways let me show you it also works in multiplayer uh, those of you UE4 devs looking to looking to do this uh, I might do a tutorial, I just have to see how many people request it. As you can see, I ragdoll and died on that guy's screen. This guy's screen, you can see the same thing. This is the uh, ALS replicated project. You can go to the uh, ALS Discord server and you can find the link to it. It's it's free, you can just go and download it. But uh, yeah, you can see that I can ragdoll and trip on his body and I take fall damage from his, or er, impact damage from his body as well. So the system, it can take anything that the ragdoll collides with and receive damage from it. Uh, so there you go, and then I can, uh, fall right here, get a little boop. Oof, there you go. You can see he got hit by the box, but he didn't take damage from it until he hit this wall. That's when it, where I said it's hit or miss, especially in this multiplayer thing where it's replication. There you go, you see that again? He didn't take any damage from the box. I think it might be something in the... No, he took damage there. Okay, he's dead now. Where in the world did his eyes go? Huh? What? Where did his eyes go? I have never seen that before. He is missing his eyes. He got hit so hard, his mesh was modified. All right. Anyways, uh, UE4 devs, if you guys want to see a tutorial, uh, let me know in the comments. Be sure to like the video and also subscribe. Stay tuned for the tutorial. I'll probably make it either way if nobody even wants it. But I know it'll be helpful to the community because it's a good addition to the uh, base ALS project. But uh, anyways, this I'm also going to be adding this into Warbox's next update. So uh, those of you here for Warbox, keep an eye out. Uh, it's, it should it's gonna come out. Ooh, I'm I'm kind of busy over the weekend, and then also Monday. I it might might be Monday, could be Tuesday, but it could also be uh, Friday uh, this week. So we'll see. Uh, I might try and push brush the update quicker just so. Uh, because of because of me being busy over the weekend but we'll see uh anyways that's that's about it thank you for uh watching um uh stay tuned for more videos